Hey guys and girls, so experiencing an issue with my 2022 Mustang Mach-E. It's about 5.30 right now. Uh, about 3 o'clock this afternoon, we got a message that there was somebody breaking into the car and the door was open. So my wife came out here and couldn't open the doors. The only thing that was going on was that the mirrors were blinking uh you know like the orange uh, amber lights were blinking but there was no alarm signal going off no nothing so backtrack a little bit yesterday i did a lot of driving around just before i came home um actually had my dash cam say that uh like there was an error and it was resetting and i had gotten two alerts that uh there was a power drain So I unhooked the dash cam and I thought maybe that would fix the problem. My wife went out this morning and I got a message at 10.30 in the morning saying that there was a power drain issue, but she drove around for, you know, probably a good half hour, brought the car home, everything was fine. You know, she's probably home around 11. And then at three in the afternoon, all of a sudden it won't let us in. So I'm trying to not even getting, uh, not even lighting up on the key fob. I made sure that I just brought out the one fob as we do have two Mach E's. Uh, last night it wouldn't charge. It got up uh, about 26% and then it just shut off. Uh, so it shut off around 66%. I just can't get it to light up. It doesn't recognize this. When I tried to start it on the Ford Pass app, it said that the car was in uh, deep sleep mode. And that you needed to actually go into the car and manually start it. Well, I can't get into the car to manually start it because it won't let me in. So I don't know what to do. I don't want to leave it until 7 o'clock tonight when it's its scheduled charge time to start fooling around to try to figure out if... You know the problem is with that little 12 volt battery or wh or what's going on so i don't know i may end up coming down in here opening up the little door and then going through and seeing if i can put the booster on because i just don't have the time for this and of course it's sunday night and i've got to be to work tomorrow just like anybody else does so i don't know we'll uh we'll see what we do here and I'll kind of keep you posted as we go along because the reason I'm making this video is there's absolutely no information out there. I've typed in, you know, alarm system's gone off, can't get in, how to get into your Mach-E, um, you know, even how to uh, turn off the deep sleep mode, all that kind of stuff. There is nothing specific to the alarm going off and not allowing you back in. There's nothing on it. So anyways, I'm going to keep you posted and we'll go from there. Okay, so we've opened up the door and we've hooked up a battery charger to it. And I've even tried to turn on the charger to get it to pop that, pop that frunk and it won't. So I'm going to pull out, luckily we've got battery boosters. Hopefully they're still charged up and ready to go. We'll try that. Okay, so putting the actual battery booster pack on there, open up the frunk. So now we're in business. We can put the uh, battery charger on, see what that does. And I gotta say too, these cables are so janky looking. Yeah, it looks like something that somebody wired up in their garage. Okay, so we've removed this cover on the inside. You can use a flathead screwdriver or you can use one of these uh, trim prying tools. I put a little bit of black tape on there to protect everything. It did pop up. And as you can see, now you have access to at least the negative terminal. But I don't know how you get to the positive. So that doesn't really help us, does it? 
Yeah, that positive terminal's way the fark back there. Okay, well, another bit of digging to do, I guess. Okay, guys and girls, it's very hard to see, but I managed to jerry that red into there, get the black on, and you can see we're sitting at 5.8. So, something's going on. I think what we'll do is we'll try to charge this little thing. Looks like something that comes out of a lawnmower. We'll try to charge this thing. We'll charge it at slow. We got a six amp charge on this thing and we'll see what happens. It's making noise. Still not lighting up the door handle, so. Still have the keys with me, so. Just so you can see. Oh, 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 she's starting to do something now. I think what we'll do is we'll throw her into charge mode. This is probably the alarm setting. And we'll go from there. Stay tuned. My wife said that this was the sound that it was making before. It's just sitting here making these sounds. It doesn't seem to want to... says on. We'll leave this for a little bit and see what happens. God, this is frustrating. And it's like I said, it's even more frustrating that there's just no information on it at all. I'm wondering if this battery's gotten down so low that it just won't even charge anymore. I just missed it. It said child lock fault inside the vehicle. So it's been on the charger for about two hours. And as you can see, we're walking up to it. It's not doing anything. It's making that thumping noise still. It's like it's trying to release the door handles or something. I'm gonna try all the doors. Sounds like it's back here. God, this is frustrating. We've just got this car, not even six months old, and it's already doing this. And I don't think the charger's actually done anything. It's done nothing. So we're gonna get this thing towed. <sighs> Okay, guys and girls, so R2-D2 is back from his trip to Grogan Ford where we purchased the vehicle. Uh, it is now called Watford Ford in Watford, Ontario. If you're looking for a Mustang Mach-E or a Ford F-150 Lightning, I would definitely suggest going out there. Great service, uh, great service department. Not sponsored by them, not affiliated with them, just great service. I had it towed out there by Ross Towing. Uh, we did have to pay a little bit to have it towed out there because it is uh, significantly further than what Ford uh, will pay for for a free uh, uh, tow through their Ford service. So we paid that extra charge. We had it towed out there and they did some diagnoses on it and found out that it was a bad 12 volt battery. So that's why we were getting all those messages and that's why we couldn't get into the vehicle. 
uh, it's kind of frustrating that a little 12 volt battery, and I mean little, like the thing is, looks like it should be on like a riding lawnmower or motorcycle or something. But uh, anyways, that was the uh, reason for all these errors and the issues that we were having. And the reason was is that there was a bad cell inside that battery. So I don't understand fully how batteries work, but I believe that there's different cells. They're all hooked up in series or parallel, however it is. But if one's gone, then it doesn't allow the rest of them to charge up is how I understand. Kind of like those old Christmas lights. If one light went out, then they all went out. So they had to order one special from Ford. Took a little bit to get it. But uh, the service manager was really good, explained everything really well. You know, obviously I was frustrated with it. Brand new vehicle, we've only had it since November. It's now uh, June, but when we made the video, it was in May. Um, so, you know, however many months that is, six months, and uh, we've already got a dead battery. So there was no charge. And uh, he even said to me, he pointed them out that there was an F-150 Lightning and another Mach-E, oddly enough, the same color as this one. And they were from even further than us, but they were shipping the car back to have service because they loved the dealership so much. But those two vehicles also were in there for dead batteries. So don't know if maybe it was just a bad batch of batteries or what's going on, but I mean, we've got a, a mock that's coming up on a year now and we haven't had that problem knock on wood so we'll continue to monitor you know i thought that maybe it was something to do with the dash cam because uh, some of the uh, blogs and, and posts that i read said oh you know unplug your dash cam because that's what's doing it blah 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 again we have uh, another mock that's a year old uh, that's the one that we took down to philly you can see that uh, that video of our 2200 kilometer trip on this uh on this youtube page but uh you know we we've had i guess lots of luck with the other one and not so much luck with this one i don't think it had anything to do with the dash cams so we'll see we'll see if it was just like a, a bad batch of batteries or perhaps maybe this battery is too small they're asking it to do too much who knows but uh if you like this kind of content about uh, mock ease and EV vehicles, you've definitely found the right place. Might, might not be the flashiest content out there. I don't have a whole lot of like star wipes and uh, all kinds of like cool stuff in there. But if you're looking for the odd joke, really good information, a lot of how-to information, you found the right place. Because I firmly believe that if you have a little bit of information, uh, a little bit of patience, maybe the odd tool here and there, you're, you'd be really, really surprised what you're capable of. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, you know, be posting content like this quite frequently now that we've got two EV vehicles. Remember, you never know unless you bear. We'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.